Okay, are you ready to empty out your entire spice rack? And welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is week in country number 153 on our second attempt of cooking the food of every single country in the world. And tonight, up to the nation of the Seychelles. The Seychelles, an island nation located to the east of Africa in the Indian Ocean. It's an archipelago of about 115 islands, about 936 miles to the east of Africa. It's generally close to the Comoros and Reunion, and it's north of Madagascar, and you'll have to find it on a map. Because it is the smallest sovereign state in all of Africa, it is considered part of Africa there. The nation is beautiful, it's become known for its tourism, and it has a amazing cuisine, which is influenced by the African, Indian, French, British, Spanish, and Chinese traditions. It has a lot of seafood, as you'd imagine, being an island nation, and it has a lot of curries because of its proximity to India as well. There's lots of spices involved, there's, like I said, lots of curries, and this factored into what we did last Last time, so let's take a look and see how things went when we tried things then. Well, four years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge, I got to cook across two nights, and I did two nights of curry. I did two nights of fish curry, actually. And I had a couple of oopsies along the way, you, you can see if you check out the blog, but the first night I made one fish curry with a Creole rice recipe. Now, that first fish curry was really great, but it paled in comparison to the second one we did. So we're gonna be doing that Creole rice to go along with what we did on the second night, which was the Seychelles fish curry night two and we're serving that with a Creole rice. Now last time we also tried to do an octopus salad which didn't work out and I tried to do a papaya salad which really didn't work out so mm, we're redoing the fish curry and the rice and it also involves a spice mix called the masale spice mix which is part of that curry dish which is what made that so great. So let's stop and see what go into tonight's two dishes. First for our Seychelles fish curry we'll need for the masale, two tablespoons of coriander seeds, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, two teaspoons of black peppercorns, one teaspoon of cardamom pods, one teaspoon of whole cloves, one small piece of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground chili powder, and one teaspoon of grated nutmeg. And for the curry, two pounds of red snapper or monkfish cut into bite-sized pieces, salt and freshly ground black pepper, two tablespoons of sunflower oil, two Two onions chopped, two tablespoons of the masala powder which we will be making, one teaspoon of the ground turmeric, two cloves of garlic chopped, one small piece of ginger chopped, three tablespoons of tamarind water, which would be almost one tablespoon of tamarind paste mixed with a little over two tablespoons of water. The leaves of two sprigs of thyme, a half a teaspoon of anise, and 450 milliliters or three quarters of a pint of fish stock or water. And then for the Creole rice we'll need three cups of cooked basmati rice. That would be one cup of uncooked rice with three parts of water prepared beforehand. One onion chopped, three tablespoons of sunflower oil, one green bell pepper seeded and diced, five curry leaves, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, five grams or about a teaspoon and a half of diced garlic, five grams or about a teaspoon and a half of diced ginger, three whole cloves, two tablespoons of turmeric powder, two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley, three grams or about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper and salt to taste. Ooh, your house is gonna be so fragrant after you do this one, I can't even begin to tell you. So, we've gotta get cooking. Into a bowl, place the coriander seeds, cumin seeds, black peppercorns, cardamom pods, cloves, cinnamon, ground chili, and grated nutmeg. Place the bowl contents into a warm saute pan and dry roast until lightly colored. Set aside to cool. Then grind the spices in a spice grinder and set aside two tablespoons for the curry recipe. The rest of the spice mix can be stored for up to two to three months in an airtight jar. Season the fish with salt and pepper and set aside. Heat the sunflower oil in a pan over medium heat 
Then add onions and fry the onions until golden. Stir in the masala mix, stir in the turmeric, and fry lightly. Add the fish pieces, and then add garlic, ginger, tamarind water, thyme leaves, anise, and the fish stock. Bring it to a simmer and cook for 10 minutes. In a large skillet, heat the oil over medium heat. Then add the onion, garlic, ginger, cloves, curry leaves, and the green bell pepper. And saute until the vegetables are softened about five to seven minutes. Then add the turmeric, pepper, and cinnamon and saute briefly. Add the cooked rice, mix well, season with salt and pepper as needed, and set aside until serving. Serve the rice in bowls, serve the fish in stew bowls, dress with chopped parsley, wipe bowls, and serve. How did that all turn out? Well, it was really delicious and I, the smells were so strong, they were just phenomenal, they kind of lingered for a while, but uh, we have a great spice mix to show for it. And it's really important to make sure your spices are really nice and fresh, which I kind of learned the last time. But this was really wonderful. That fish curry was great, that monkfish was really the perfect fish to use with it. It wasn't the most colorful dish in the world, but it had so much great flavor. The the, that masala spice mix it really is what just made it sing, but that fish is really great too. So we're gonna give that one four out of five globes, just really nice, and uh, try it yourself. But as for that Creole rice, that was also really, really good. Now the idea that you have to make the rice first in the rice cooker meant that the texture really wasn't perfect and stuff, but you know, that's probably my fault. But the flavors there were also really great. It was really strong in the turmeric flavor, but we really like that one as well. Gonna give that one four out of five globes. All in all, a really great night of cooking and looking forward to those leftovers. So that does it for this little stint on this side of Africa. But next week we're gonna jump over to the other side of Africa to have the food of Sierra Leone. See you then. And remember, if you'd like to be advised when these videos are posted, please be sure to follow us on Periscope. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Like and subscribe if you'd like to be advised when these videos are posted, and be sure to hit that bell to get those notifications. Remember, links to the original recipes can be found in the About section. If you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful suggestions about the food reading, please be sure to sound off in the comments. Thanks for watching, and happy eating!